Hey good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about my beauty secrets for women over the age of 30. Now here's the thing, I actually just turned 40, but I feel like it took me a decade to perfect these beauty secrets. And so I have a few products, I have some procedures, I have some mindset tools and shifts that I also want to encourage you around. But most importantly, I want to say that there is absolutely nothing wrong with aging. And I also don't mind looking my age. I appreciate when many of you comment and say, girl, you don't look a day over X, Y, and Z. That makes me feel good, but at the same time, if I looked 40, I would be okay with looking 40, okay? Uh, because I think it is quite sexist and often misogynistic to kind of shepherd this mindset that says that women cannot look their age. Meanwhile, Harrison Ford is 192 years old and still starring in movies. We have no time for the double standard, okay? Uh, so this is, again, much more about the best practices that I have implemented in my life over the past decade that I wanted to share with you all. So if that sounds good to you, please make sure you are following me over on Instagram and on TikTok for style and self-care inspiration. Subscribe to the channel. I don't want you to miss a video. And let's get started. My first beauty secret for women over the age of 40 is to eliminate stress. Sis, it has to go with his paid absolutely no rent okay now I say that with someone who has a fair amount of educational privilege and so I understand for those who have been born into generational poverty it is very difficult to eliminate stress like your day-to-day -day life is stressful because you were trying to ensure that your material needs are met completely understand but for those of us who are not in those circumstances, and possibly even for those of us who are in those circumstances, I would encourage us to find a way to lean more into joy and lean away from stress. Um, I, as an attorney, which I shared with you all in my solopreneurship series, decided to walk away from my career in public policy after working for almost a decade in the field between direct practice and public policy um, because the stress had honestly made me ill. My fibroids were out of control. My stomach was ravaged with fibroids. I still have the pictures from uh, first my myomectomy and then what had to happen was my partial hysterectomy and to see you know just the ways in which my stomach just contained all of these tumors thank god non-cancerous but all of these tumors it's just mind-blowing to me and I know there are many many things that lead to fibroid tumors I am not trying to say it's all about stress but what I can say is that we know the physical manifestations of of stress okay the way that the body releases cortisol and how it just wreaks havoc on us head to toe so while it may not be all about kind of like a physical beauty secret that we hear often what i can say is that if you are not glowing from the inside since you ain't gonna glow on the outside okay and since walking away from that very stressful career first was the hysterectomy then was breast cancer almost a year later I just decided that I had to choose something different and so today the fact that I work for myself as a solopreneur I consult and I create content I travel when I want to I get up when I feel like it I still work hard because I think we work hardest for ourselves but it is work that I love and so any stress that I have is work that I, is stress that I have created on my own and I am actively trying to undo the capitalist conditioning that makes me feel like that is okay. With all that said, I really encourage you to lean into what makes you happy. What are those small acts of self-care that are going to pay big dividends? And I actually talk about this in my 21 Day Happiness Project. If you're not new around here, then you already know what that is. It is a 21 day self-care investment. I created this while I was healing from my hysterectomy. Um, and it has just paid for itself 10 times over y'all whenever I feel like I am going into a slump whenever I want to prevent a slump I go to my 21 day happiness project and I have an ebook all about it that I will make sure I link down below so that is the first secret if I am older than you then let me auntie on you let me love you okay and let me tell you that anything we have been told around the American dream is quite, quite often a nightmare for many of us if you are at any intersection of oppression, it is quite often a nightmare. 
And so as you wake up every day and you go to work and you are being dishonored and you are being devalued, and you are working twice as hard as the next person. Understand, sis, it is not you. It is them. And I want to encourage you to choose something different. All right, off the soapbox. My TED Talk is over. Get to a product that has been a lifesaver, girl, a ram in a bush. And it is retinol. And I'm mad y'all didn't tell me about it before. I was probably about 33 when I started to have horrendous, horrendous, hormonal breakouts. I'm talking about my entire jawline just inflamed. And I thought it was because I had braids at that time and I was having like a chemical reaction to whatever was in the braids. Finally went to the dermatologist and she was like, oh, I actually see this often. Very often women over 30 start to experience hormonal breakouts on their jawline. She said, let me prescribe you this retinol. It's going to clear you up right away. And it was like a lightning bolt the way that that product worked on my skin now if you were new to it you of course have to kind of graduate yourself into it especially if it is a medical grade retinol um, because it does cause peeling and that is because it turns over the cells of the skin so rapidly much more rapidly than would happen normally without that active ingredient and so it will clear your skin up it will help to eliminate wrinkles it will have you out here looking like you have sipped from the fountain of youth and so to this day, my skincare regimen at night specifically does include a retinol primarily because retinol can cause sun sensitivity and so it can be counteractive if you are wearing it to the day during the day and you are not wearing sunscreen and so the one I love is by a company called the perfect a I've also tried um, natural retinols that are naturally derived those are also available on the market i will link some of my faves down below but just know a retinol as an active ingredient and especially a medical grade one girl you will be out here looking embryonic not even youthful embryonic trust me now, as I just mentioned in the case of the retinol my third beauty secret is about sunscreen 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 I know many of us believe that melanin is a natural protectant from the Sun but sis it is not black folks get, get skin cancer they do and although it doesn't tend to crack we do eventually get wrinkles <laughs> And so between the melanoma possibility and the wrinkles, that should be enough to encourage you to wear sunscreen on a daily basis. Now, no judgment here because I'm not trying to shame us about not wearing sunscreen. As a matter of fact, I see this as a structural issue. It's a lack of knowledge around the harms of a depleting ozone layer for many environmental reasons, but also because brands have not done the due diligence over the years to ensure that we don't look like Ashley Larry when you are a darker hue as I am, when you wear sunscreen, okay? So no one wants to look like Casper the friendly ghost out here, like you wearing a face full of your mama's fashion fair from, you know, 87 out here. You know, when you're facing your neck don't match. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that. So I am so happy that now there are new sunscreens that are out. And so for me, one of the ones that I stand was sent to me by an amazing sister who is also a registered nurse. She has her own brand. It is called Glow Aesthetics. I mentioned Glow Aesthetics in the entire product line in my black owned brands to know video. But their sunscreen, y'all, is the truth. It is the truth. I am wearing it today under my makeup. It's also almost like a great base because it mattifies as well. And so uh, it is not something that is going to make you super oily like some sunscreens do. And it also is something that is not going to leave a white cast on your face. So I highly recommend that one. And I've tried other ones over the years like Super Goop is another one that I also like that I'll make sure I link down below. But that is a beauty secret that I highly, highly recommend, especially if you were taking tip number two around retinol. Don't play about your skin, girl. You will definitely almost undo any progress that you were making if you were not wearing sunscreen on your face. Must have daily.
Next up, I am going to plug the importance of an exercise regimen. That is something that I have been pretty consistent around since college, y'all. Um, I've always had some sort of physical activity for the most part in my life. Uh, even if I have fallen off the horse and had like a month, two, three, four, where I didn't get up and go do something active, I pride myself on gaining knowledge very early on about why it is important to not live a sedentary lifestyle. Many people might age are already suffering from pre-diabetes or diabetes from issues around heart disease which is one of the number one killers for black women and so uh I understand how diet and exercise are linked and as someone who comes from a long history of people who suffer from kidney failure in my family cancer in my family I've already mentioned the fibroids uh, heart disease high blood pressure a myriad of health issues I'm telling you right now staying healthy staying fit and this is not about your weight note that I'm not saying that staying healthy whatever it means to you is so so important not only does it add years onto your life but obviously being healthy is going to affect things like our skin are we breaking having chronic breakouts <laughs> you know what I mean do we have bags under our eyes all, all of these things are affected by things like our diet our water intake how hydrated we are okay and also by our physical activity and so for me it's all about yoga Pilates and bar uh, I have struggled y'all for a long time to try to figure out what is my rhythm um, I know that I'm not a CrossFit chick I know I'm not a like a hit or high impact type of uh, exercise person don't send me to an orange theory I'm quitting I'm leaving don't bother me with that I'm not gonna do it why would I and I um remember reading a book that is all around anti-cancer living and these small principles that you can put into your life day to day to help to prevent cancer if anyone is interested I'll make sure I link it uh, because anyone can take tips from this book whether or not you have a history of cancer and so one of the things that it, it, it reminded me was about a very low level of physical activity that we need to maintain like optimal health you only need about 15 minutes of physical activity a day that can look like walking that can look like running it can look like some of those more high impact exercises if you were trying to lose weight build muscle etc but if you were like me and you were comfortable with your body type I hope that we all are working towards being uh, 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 embracing our bodies but if you were like me and you were comfortable with your body then I'm not getting out here and, 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 and sweating five million buckets. Now there are people who actually they get endorphins, they love that. I'm not that person. And it's taken me once again a long time to realize that it wasn't that I had a lack of dedication. It was just that that ain't what I needed to be doing. And so as a result, leaning into yoga, leaning into bar, leaning into Pilates has helped me to maintain my abs. The abs are still abbing, okay? The, the cakes is is caking. I'm not raising the roof, I promise. The cakes are caking. They are right where they need to be, all right? Um, and it has brought me through a pandemic. It has helped me to gain community. All of those things I love. I am an in-person exercise type of person. All those things are so important for me. And so I encourage you, if you are over the age of 30, to figure out what physical activity you love. Maybe it is biking. Maybe it is skating, right? There can be so many things that actually just move your body that if that works for you girl that is all that matters next beauty secret for women over 30 is micro blading and this may be very time specific because I feel like if you are over 30 then you probably have also lived through that time period of the early aughts when we was out here with razor thin eyebrows okay looking like Cruella DeVille uh, um, and so of course things ebb and flow over time and that's not necessarily what is the most popular beauty aesthetic currently and the thing about eyebrows is that the hair follicles deaden and so for me between living through the uh, late 90s early 2000s and then going through breast cancer my eyebrows were like B I'm done what you think this is <laughs> 
they gave up on me okay and I had been thinking about microblading for quite some time and finally when I pulled the trigger y'all that was the best investment I have ever ever made I wanted to do a whole video around this but unfortunately I lost the footage it was corrupted on my hard drive um, but I will insert some clips here for you all to see what my brows look like before and what they look like now a uh, part of the process is that I went in to a place called Brows DC Murasol is the brow technician and she numbed my brows I had always been so concerned about the pain she numbed my brows and I barely felt anything I promise you I ended up doing like a combo brow which is a mix of um, a powder brow or um, umbre brow mixed with microblading so part of my brow she did with a, like a tattoo gun part of it she did freehand using very small strokes Definitely recommend doing some education around that. But from what I understand, she recommended that combo brow because I had very oily skin. And of course, oil breaks down pigment. And so over time, the ink breaks down and she finds that people who don't do the combo brow need to come back a little bit sooner. So it lasts from 12 to 36 months, depending on the skincare products you use, how you take care of it, what you do to lock in the color from the beginning. Um, I went back about six weeks later for a touch up for her to kind of get into those spots that she missed. But I will be honest with you, this is the most comfortable I have felt without wearing makeup in a very long time. I feel like my skincare is doing what it needs to do. I feel like my brows are much thicker and much more uniform. All I do now is just cluck the excess around them. And it's so funny to me that at 40, I am the happiest I've ever been without makeup. Like, I feel like if I wear it, I do. If I don't, I don't. Obviously, I want to look pulled together on camera for you all. So I put on makeup, I put on a lash. But if you all ever see me IRL, I probably day to day will put on a lip, a lash, and that is it. Because everything else has just really come together. Microblading changed my life. And I don't ever see myself not doing it. Highly recommend for women over 30. Another service that I think is something that is a life altering, life changing my friend I spoke about in um, my best purchases of 2021 and I still stand by it is laser genesis laser genesis it is a tool that was sent from God okay um, basically laser genesis uses a lower frequency or maybe it's wavelength I don't know the science than what is used for laser hair removal okay uh, and so it is a similar tool much 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 lower strength and what it does is it's almost like using retinol or an acid on your face something that is going to turn over those cells and give you a new layer of skin it's almost like doing that on steroids right like I can use my retinol day to day and eventually I'll have some great results I can you know prevent some stuff I can also clear up some stuff but that is going to take a longer length of time than laser genesis will so I had probably about three treatments last year I have been wanting to go back I haven't made time for it but what I can tell you is this I saw the greatest results probably about 30 days later. I looked in the mirror and it was just like a whole new world. And I go to a black woman. I think there's something about a person of color working on a person of color's skin. Her name is Michelle German at Capital Aesthetics. I will link her down below because this is the truth. She's a medical PA. She ain't playing with the girls. And Michelle is a bad B. So you already know she have us out here looking. Girl, I was feeling myself I really really I really really was and so those occasional breakouts that might pop up here and there it, you just don't experience it if you are on a laser genesis regimen it just makes your skin look dynamic I, I haven't tried Botox I haven't tried any of the other anti-aging like methodologies but when I talk about laser genesis that's what I mean and I think if you are younger than me and you want to find a way to treat yourself on a monthly basis go do it sis it comes with a facial at least the capital aesthetics it does um so they clean your skin they use a hydra facial which just gets all that gunk it pulls all of it out of your pores and then you go to Michelle and she does the laser treatment now it's a little spicy it's a little spicy around your mouth it's a little spicy along the jawline but it is worth that spiciness 
once you see what you look like within 30 days. Girl, come back to this video and comment down below and let me know. You are going to love it. I promise. And the last beauty secret for women over the age of 30 is an eye cream. An eye cream, an eye cream, an eye cream. I was late to this party, I will admit, but it's a couple reasons why you want to wear eye cream, sis. Number one, my esthetician told me, and it makes perfect sense, that the skin under our eyes does not produce as much sebum. It does not produce as much oil, which means it's drier. And dry skin tends to wrinkle sooner. That's number one. Number two, we also know that the skin under our eyes does not absorb large molecules. So you might say to yourself, well, I wear a moisturizer every day. That's fantastic. But it's quite possible that that under eye skin, the molecules are too large for your under eyes to absorb it. Eye creams are made specifically with formulas that have smaller molecules for our under eye areas to absorb, okay? That is number two, okay? Number three, just in general, you feel bad and bougie when you wear it. And that's enough for me. You know, just the, the mindset alone that comes along with a good eye cream. I, I love, alright? <laughs> I have been going back and forth about one that I could definitely recommend to you all that is like fantastic. Uh, I will share with you the ones I have been using most recently. I have one that I use during the day and I have one that I use at night for no particular reason. It just, again, it makes me feel fantastic, okay? Uh, the one that I use during the day is an oil that I got from Sephora. It's a little bit lighter and so I don't have to worry about it really standing out under my makeup and then the one that I use at night I um, tend to go back and forth between one that is also more of an oil based but it, it comes in a jar and then it, it emulsifies um, that one is all natural and then another one that I was just sent by Clarence which I will probably replace that with whatever it is you were using I promise you an eye cream is clutch it's gonna fight the wrinkles it's a great way to absorb them that moisture that you need under your eyes and it's also a great way to just feel bad and bougie and that is it good people thank you so much for watching today's video let me know what you think about this type of content down below and if you have any other questions about beauty makeup skincare self-care i would love to create more of these types of videos in the meantime make sure you're following me over on social media i would love to have you as part of the tribe there as well and i will see you good people across the internet peace